Hello, in this video we are going to cover nodes. Nodes basically are everything that you've been using so far. Everything is a form of a node, all of these. So we're going to show you how to create your own nodes. So if you go to resources, add a new file, you can either add it via this way or click file and new file there. So we just go to node, just name it. I'm just going to leave it as the default name. As you can see, you can't set the size because the size is based on its contents. You'll see what I mean in a moment. So let's just click new. And I'm going to go and create a new folder just to organize it a little better. And I'm going to actually import some resources that I've got on the desktop. So if I get this. Do I have everything that I need? Yep, I have everything that I need. So let's just import those. We've got those resources importing now. And in the node in the node file, there's no properties or anything like that. And it just consists of other nodes and objects. So I can add a sprite on here. I can add an a node a node object on here. I can add a tile map. And but instead what I'm going to do it is just get these egg easter eggs on here which by default by dragging them on like this creates a sprite with that image and what i want is some game that has all of these and there's and these are gonna appear a lot instead of having a sprite for each single one and then creating each individual one what i can do is create a node and watch what happens i'm going to save this Go to my scene, drag on the node, and it's basically got all my eggs in the position that they were set to. And if I were to start scaling it and do any other sort of actions to in it, to it, rotation position, that sort of stuff, it will affect the entire node. Oh, but this is really cool. If I go back to the node, and okay, I think this will look better here. Save it go back it's now updated and imagine if I was using this on several scenes that is the beauty of using nodes the reason actually no I haven't done it yet so I can't say the reason for something I'm gonna create another node this node one that'll be fine and in node one what I'm gonna do is drag on a node you can actually drag on these node.csd files as you would any of these objects and the reason for this is simply because as you can see it's a node object that's what it is and it allows you to actually set the node like so so if I were to drag I'm just going to do to the scene actually I'm going to drag on this node just delete this for a second Row. the node doesn't appear okay so you need to actually sorry my bad you need to drag it on like this but I'm gonna drag on this node one which consists of multiple node.csd files as you can see it's got all the .csd files as you can see from here so if I move it as you can see it reflects in the other file so basically that's like nodeception right there so node one can no node consists of four sprites node one consists of two node.csd files and main scene just consists of the one node one.csd so if i go down all it does is consist of the one node the one object that's all it is but in turn that is consisting of look eight sprites and that is a great way of just being able to manipulate this sort of stuff like so so yeah it's that simple to use nodes they're very powerful why would you want to use them when you're grouping objects together like i said before and you need to reuse them several times in your game maybe you have some sort of hood system that needs to be used on different scenes slightly different scenes maybe you have some sort of menu system that needs to be reused or part of the menu system instead of recreating the entire menu system over and over again so that's notes if you have any questions feel free to message us on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description so you don't need to remember that we haven't showed you how to 
actually access nodes in code that's because coca studio doesn't support coding so there'll be a link in the description to our cocos api guide which shows you how to access nodes within code so go and check that out and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day